Hi, I'm John Backer and I'm here today to talk to you about uh, a new technology that you can use in your campaign for political office. The first screen we're looking at is a ballot and that's what we're all running towards on election day but many times the voters uh, vote on name recognition and, and not much else. This technology allows us to, to plant the seed of our name in more people's minds along with conveying our messages to people we couldn't have reached perhaps any other way. How are you reaching voters today and, and how are you building your name recognition? Well, you're probably not going to have a, a campaign this day and age without a website. It's a foregone conclusion you're going to have one. You're probably going to do some level of social media, probably at least a Facebook page, but you might also have YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and others. You're also potentially going to have mailers, which, you know, on a good day, maybe 1% of those gets read, but you still send out the numbers that you send out. On radio, um, how many people listen to the radio uh, stations that you advertise on? You're certainly not reaching everybody like that. Same thing with TV. Um, you might have meet and greets where people invite their friends and family over to, to have a meet and greet with you. Um, you attend political events and your staff attends political events and you set up tables and you try to get your name and your message out there that way. You might also use vehicle magnets on your vehicles and your supporters might have vehicle magnets as well. You might even have some that wrap the vehicles. Um, you're probably going to use street signs. I think about everybody does, uh, but not everybody's going to see those either. You're probably going to use bumper stickers um, and um, you know, back to direct mail. So talking about bumper stickers, um, there's a lot of noise out in our lives today and there's a lot of noise on the back of this pickup truck. But the one thing that stands out to me is uh, looks like Ted Cruz had three bumper stickers on this truck. Uh, that repetition makes it stand out. It, it helps remember, uh, helps someone remember, you know, uh, names. Same thing with campaign signs. When, when you approach campaign day, election day, uh, there's going to be a lot of street signs out there and people are going to have a difficult time remembering just a handful of names potentially from those signs. So we need multiple touches, multiple ways to get our names and our messages out there. But how are you reaching these voters that probably might not even be reached today? Uh, the first picture, you know, a sporting stadium with thousands of people in it. Um, short of buying advertising on the outfield wall, you're probably not reaching those folks while they're in the game. Uh, the middle picture, uh, ladies getting their hair done at a salon. Note all of them are looking at their cell phone while they're getting their hair dried. And then the third picture, people in line uh, waiting for some food. It looks like at Chick-fil-A. Wouldn't it be great to reach those people in addition to all the other things you're already doing. What we're talking about here doesn't replace all the things you're already doing. It supplements it, helps get additional touches, helps get your message in front of the most people possible for as affordable as possible and frequently as possible. First thing we're going to talk about in this technology is digital business cards. If you're, if you're like me, you collect a lot of different business cards, traditional ones, but they either end up in a stack, maybe with a rubber band around them, they might end up in a drawer, they might end up thrown away. And if, if can I remember all the business cards I've collected? Probably not. Do I know where the business cards are that I might need to go get when the need arises? Probably not. Digital business cards uh, kind of save that problem. And you can convey much more information on a digital business card than you can a printed one, even if you use both sides of a printed traditional business card. So there's a, a website on here that's referenced to show you a sample of the full capabilities of the digital business cards. There's 18 or 20 different templates to start from with slightly different look and feels and different capabilities. That sample will give you uh, the details on one. On this example here, um, you can have your main picture, several social media links, a long message to voters, a phone number, a text button if the phone number supports text, and email. Up to five hyperlinked pictures, your logo or a second picture, 
up to five buttons with hyperlinks, up to five videos either on YouTube, Vimo, or both, lead capture where you can add custom fields, campaigns to track statistics, uh, where are people seeing you, how effective are your advertising dollars being spent. It also comes with a customer relationship manager, a CRM included, that allows you to do such thing as schedule follow-up appointments and take notes on your contacts. All this capability gives you uh, 10 digital business cards to share, each to share with unlimited numbers of people for only $10 a month. And it's a powerful capability that, that a lot of people aren't using just yet. Uh, seen on the right here is a picture of a digital business card for Sergio Ariano, who's campaigning for Congressional District 3 in Arizona, the seat currently held by Grijalva, and he's getting a tremendous amount of support uh, in that campaign. Proximity marketing. So take that digital business card and spread it within a hundred yards of the device pictured in the bottom left hand corner and that 40 character message and a link to your digital business card appears on every Android phone within a hundred yards. So people check their phones every 12 minutes on the average and 60 percent of people in the US use Android phones. So you won't reach everybody but you're going to reach a good percentage of them. You're going to plant that name recognition and the ones who like your 40 character message will click on your message and they can be taken to your digital business card and you're going to reach people you wouldn't have reached any other way. In addition to what we talked about on the digital business cards, you can get these proximity marketing devices. Each one costs $10 a month with no long-term contracts. You can change your messages whenever you like. And the best part of all this is you get some really great analytics for both of these capabilities. Uh, the saying goes, you can't manage what you can't measure. Well, you have plenty of tools here to, to manage and measure uh, this capability for you. The graphic at the middle of the bottom is a, a graphic which shows the impressions and the clicks on one of these wave devices, as they're called, these proximity marketing devices. So impressions are the counts of phones that saw your message. Uh, it appeared on that phone. So somebody might not have seen it with their own eyes, but it reached that phone. Some subset of those will definitely see your message, and ideally that message should include your name to help build that name recognition. The clicks are for the people who liked what they saw and opted to click on it and go to your, your uh, digital business card to learn more. This capability is 100% FCC compliant. It doesn't ring or ding a phone. What people do is, as they get notifications across the top of their screen on their phone like these, you swipe down and you see messages similar to this for, um, you know, that are being broadcast to them. They can opt out if they want to, but most people don't. You do have to have Bluetooth turned on, but many, organ or many areas now have hands-free driving ordinances. So we find that more people than not do have their Bluetooth turned on, and you also have to have location services turned on, but a lot of people have that as well. The other neat thing on the digital business card uh, is the analytics. So you see how when you share your card with someone specifically, either by sending it to their email address or sending it to uh, via text to their cell phone, it tells you when that person viewed your card. And if they're viewing your card, maybe that's someone you circle back with and, and see what you can do to, to help with and convey your message even more fully and see if maybe they want to schedule a meet and greet for you, for example. And then we have a, a bigger image from the previous screen of the impressions and the clicks and the legend down there. The Wave devices have their own set of stats in this format as well. So your 40 character message this tells you for each device you're using and I would think you know maybe as many as 10 or more depending on the supporters that you have in your area to spread your message far and wide this tells you how many phones your message appeared on and how many of those people clicked on your message uh, you're, you're probably going to get approaching a 1% click rate similar to what you get in direct mail but even if people don't click on your message you're still planting the seed of name recognition when your message mentions your name and your campaign message that again can be 40 characters long. 
So getting started is easy and inexpensive. You simply visit lfi.johnbacker.com and on that page you'll see screenshots which show you the process and what to expect and then at the bottom of that page is a link for you to get started that will follow the same process as the screenshots on that page. And I also wanted to, to mention that the Wave device, it's a pretty small device. Uh, it's 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters by 13.5 millimeters thick. And again, you know, get plenty of them, spread your message far and wide because you can do it affordably. $10 a month gets you the digital business cards up to 10 different ones that each one can be shared unlimited and then each wave device the proximity marketing device is only ten dollars per month as well so uh, ten of them are a hundred dollars a month on the devices so get your name out there and get your message out there this is a great way to do it using the latest greatest technology thank you